Wally Downs, a late rally from us, but uh, two disappointing goals to concede. Yeah, they were soft goals. Uh, you know, we, we were aware of how they played and we set up our, our side to, uh, to counter that. And the two of the goals that came from exactly the sort of situations that we were hoping for, where we weren't strong enough physically to get a challenge on the ball. Uh, we blocked up the middle, hoping they'd pass it wide, and then we got the aerial dominance from them if they're getting crosses in. But as they pass through the middle, everything that we, we worked on all week about getting physical and making a challenge there when the ball was passed up wasn't there today, and I wasn't happy about it. Yeah, we were too, perhaps too passive in that first half. I, I, listen, I don't mind surrendering the ball occasionally away from home because we're good on the counter, but we were certainly physically too passive. You know, balls were played into feet where we knew they were going to play them and we actively encouraged them to play balls into the middle because we're strong with the three centre-backs. But they need to be on their game, they need to be on people's shoulders and they need to be stronger than they were today. Changed up at the start of the second half, what do you think of the substitutions? Well, uh, we wanted to keep the ball as much as we could in their half. Uh, the three centre the centre forwards that we put on in the second half uh, made it more difficult for them to get out, and consequently they went longer. And uh, you know the, we we battled more in the second half. We were more physical. We were more energetic. Uh, and uh, I didn't tell them not to be non-physical and unenergetic in the first half, but we were. And uh, you know we tried to sort that out at half time. And, and it's disappointing that we were, but you know, I've been saying it a lot. We're young, and we need to learn from that. When you come into a game, uh, any game, anywhere, you need to put your mark on the game early on. You need to be physical, and you need to win your battles. And then you play your football afterwards. But you can't have it the other way around. We can't just be wanting to play football and not be winning physical battles. You see the clips of your new signings and courage with what they have to offer. Yeah, definitely. Well, Marcus has scored and. And uh, Max did well. Unfortunately, he got a a whack on the knee, which which hindered him slightly. And uh, you know, Ryan had a difficult debut, but uh, he can only get better. And uh, I'm hoping for good things from the three of them. You chose to go with Joe McDonald and Gold today. What was the thinking from that? It was purely an experience thing. Uh, Nick's done great when he's come in, but he hasn't had that many first team games anywhere. Um, Joe did exceptionally well, they tell me, here last year, and he's got the you know, 40, 50 first team games for him, so purely a confidence thing. No, no, no. uh, sorry, not confidence, and uh, <coughs> purely an experience thing. Still searching for that first win, what would we want to go and stay together in this situation? Yeah, and just think how sweet it will be when it comes, you know, it's got to come. We've been, we've been competitive in every game except for the last 15 minutes at Sunderland. And, uh, you know, my yeah. job is to keep them believing in what they're doing. Chances we're making to win the games, didn't take them today. Got to start taking them. What happens at both ends is what matters. Rest, largely irrelevant. Two penalty boxes, we've got to make sure that we put them away and keep them out of ours. Anthony Wordsworth may get a run out in midweek, could be back next week. Yeah, reserve game on Tuesday, Woody should be available for, uh, to play in that. Hopefully he comes through that and he'll be pushing for a place in the squad. Wally, thanks for your time. Thank you.